Sometimes a happily ever after isn't forever and Regina King and Malcolm Jamal Warner know this all too well. Both superstars may appear to be living their best lives right now, acting like nothing ever happened, but the truth behind their story is much deeper than they'd like to let on, and you guys are never going to believe how it all really went down. Regina and Malcolm's love story was one for the books, if you could call it that. They were the it couple and everyone loved them. Regina and Michael met as child stars in the 1980s but didn't hit it off until after Regina had ended her first marriage. Their getting together was surprising to say the least and according to Regina, there was actually a reason for it. Regina believed that the universe had a plan in bringing them together when it did. In other words, the timing was just perfect for them because they both wouldn't have been ready earlier. Apparently, they both had to go through all that they did so they could be ready for each other like they were. I mean, Regina sounded so sure of their relationship. This was why everyone thought that it was really going to be forever for them. But sometimes, what you think isn't always what ends up happening and Regina and Malcolm's case is a prime example of this. Not too long after Regina and Michael had gotten together in 2011, the rumors about them being engaged started swirling around. Everyone thought they were ready to walk down the aisle, and there were multiple reports actually confirming that they were engaged. This isn't really surprising when it comes to celebrity relationships, but Regina and Malcolm were quick to set the record straight. At the end of the day, Regina called out the rumors for what they were, which were just plain rumors, and she claimed that she and Malcolm weren't engaged or planning on getting married. Apparently, they were both taking things slow and seeing where things would go, and unfortunately for them, things didn't end up going very far. After two years of being one of Hollywood's most favorite couples, the breakup rumors began and they were much crazier than the wedding rumors. This time around, the rumors were actually confirmed to be the truth and nothing but the truth. And like the breakup itself wasn't bad enough, it happened in the worst way possible. Apparently, Malcolm had decided that he just wasn't feeling it anymore, and just like that, he decided to call it quits on Regina. Now, to make matters worse for Regina, she was barely given any notice before, no red flags or even a warning. She was caught completely unaware by Malcolm and then asked her and her son to move out of the house that the three of them share together. To say that Regina was devastated by this would be an understatement. Apparently, she was crushed, and according to an insider, she was left brokenhearted because of the news. And the fact she didn't know why Malcolm had decided to end the relationship just like that made her and Malcolm's breakup far more difficult to deal with. Now, Regina didn't hide the fact that she was obviously hurt by him and Malcolm's untimely breakup. She had no problem telling everyone how it happened, but what if she had more details than she actually spilled? Allegedly, Regina didn't give the public the full gist of her and Malcolm's breakup. She kept arguably the most important details to herself. This was a secret that she apparently was able to hide for just two years before she decided to spill it. In 2015, in an interview that she did with Us Weekly, Regina was asked what her favorite Valentine's gift was and she claimed that she didn't have any because someone had broken up with her on Valentine's Day. And just like the irony of breaking up with her on a day that is meant to celebrate relationships, her supposed ex sent her flowers claiming that he still loves her. This honestly doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if you love someone, why exactly would you break up with them on Valentine's Day? After Regina had received the flowers, she claimed that she threw the flowers in the trash and told him to leave her alone using not-so-friendly words, and I don't think anyone can blame her for this. Now, although Regina didn't exactly drop the name of the alleged ex that pulled the stunt on her, she did hint that Malcolm was probably the one that did it. In her words, they will know, with they meaning every single one of us. And the fact that Malcolm didn't come out to clear out his name when everyone accused him of being the person made it much easier to believe that he was the culprit. Regina and Malcolm's split was a bad experience for her without any doubt, but she managed to pull through it. She went ahead to live her best life quite literally and won some major awards for her work including an Oscar and an Emmy. And she wasn't the only one enjoying the big success. Her son, Ian Alexander Jr., also followed in her musical footsteps and became a DJ and singer-songwriter in his own right. Regina never remarried, but has found a lot of comfort being in the company of her son, Ian. Some might even go as far as to say they were best friends. This is until the biggest tragedy of Regina's life struck. Earlier this year, Regina had lost her son and best friend. This is the worst thing that can happen to any parent, and Regina's case was definitely no different. This news was devastating to everyone Everyone, especially Regina and her family. In a statement released by them, they expressed how much of a loss Ian was. 
In their words, he was such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others, and then they further asked to be respected during this time. It ultimately was revealed that Ian had ended his own life, and what's sad is that a week before this had happened, he dropped some hints about what was happening on his Twitter page. Ian deeply reflected on his relationship with social media, Instagram to be specific. In his words, he didn't think that Instagram was healthy for him, and then he made a reference to an episode of Spongebob to tell everyone that he was losing his mind. Sadly, we weren't really aware of the severity of the statement that he had made and the meaning behind it. And this had just happened a few days before his 26th birthday. After a very horrific loss, Regina took some time away from the spotlight. Her first public sighting came two months after this had happened and was seen on set filming John Ridley's biopic Shirley alongside. It seemed like she was ready to go back to work and filming was stopped because of her horrible loss. Two months after her first public appearance, Regina made her first red carpet appearance. She was seen at the Filming Italy Festival's award ceremony held in the Sicilian village of Santa Margarita di Paola. This is because she was asked to be at the event due to the fact that she was a recipient of the festival's Woman in Power Prize, a prize that she co-won with her friend Naomi Harris. Outside her less than frequent public appearances, Regina has practically disappeared off the face of the earth. She barely makes any posts on her social media pages, and we can only assume that this is because she is still dealing with her tragic loss. I really hope that she finds the strength to get through this and move on. Malcolm, on the other hand, seems to be navigating life well, as he's appearing in a lot of movies and TV series. Let me know what your thoughts are about all of this in the comments.